Hey guys, today I'm going to bring you another Wi-Fi battle and this is a battle against Big Boss 012 from the Smogon forums. And uh, we decided to have a standard battle and uh, yeah, I just I just made a rain dancing team and I wanted to see how great this team would do. It has like three overused Pokemon, but that's just because I think they're um, pretty crucial to rain dance teams to keep up the rain and uh, yeah kill your opponent and since uh, people at Smogon are all using OU's I just decide to put some OU's in it as well so he leads with an Azelf and I lead off with a Crobat who is able to set up the rain dance and here I went for a taunt because I really thought that Azelf would like taunt me or set up like the uh, stealth rocks I don't know but he goes into uh, Tyranitar and this is actually the first match I try out with my rain dancing team and I'm already facing off against uh, this powerful uh, Sandstorm team. And I was like, hmm, how shall I do this? Because I have like no experience with rain dancing teams. This is actually my first battle. So um, in the beginning I was like switching around. So I just went for the U-turn in case he would stay in with Tyranitar. Because uh, the Scizor is choice banded. And I go into my Batman. And uh, I just decided to go for the Hypnosis and it hits, so that's always sweet. So uh, now I have the opportunity to um, to set up the rain here. And uh, I set up the rain, go for the rain dance, and he gets the first turn wake. So I was like, oh my god. That never happens to me, to be honest. And he goes for a Meteor Mash and it hits, so I was surprised the second time because every time I use Meteor Mash, it uh, always misses. So uh, here I was thinking stupid and hoping that it wouldn't be packed with Bullet Punch. So I just stay in, and, but I have the rain up, so that's pretty nice, I guess. So now I send up my Queendra and I just go for the Hydro Pump. I was expecting him to go into Tyranitar, but I just decided to go for a Hydro Pump because one Hydro Pump would be able to finish off the Tyranitar as well. And uh, as you see, my Kingdra is, or I must say my Queendra, is uh, wearing a Life Orb. So that's always nice. And uh, here I'm not so sure that I'll be able to kill it but I just decided to go for it because I really need that um, Tyranitar dead and he thought that I would go for my Scizor again and therefore he went for his I guess physical wall Zapdos uh, however I see due to the hail that uh, Zapdos is faster than me and I thought that he would go for a Thunderbolt so I just decided to go into my Jirachi who can also set up the uh, rain dance and uh, in this rain dancing team I'm actually not using Clefable I think that this is my first battle in like three or four months that I'm not using Clefable so yeah remember remember the I don't know what date it is of December so here I just uh, went for a wish because I wanted because I really thought that he would switch out into Tyranitar and I just went for the wish because then I will be able to set up the rain dance and gain my hit points once again. So here I set up the rain dance and actually at this point he was expecting me to switch but I really don't so he didn't expect me to set up the rain I guess and here I was expecting him to go for Tyranitar so I just um, went for a thunder but uh, yeah it misses and with serene grace thunder has like a 60 percent percent chance to paralyze the opponent so that's pretty nice I guess and here he goes for a dragon dance and uh, I'm thinking if he's able to set up a few dragon dances then I'm pretty sure he won't switch out this Tyranitar so I just decide to set up the rain because he won't switch him out because he has like two dragon dances up so I just decide to stay in because I thought he would go for like another dragon dance and he does because he wants to sweep me but uh, yeah that's actually pretty stupid of him because I have scissor and scissor has the bullet punch 
So I go for the Thunder, and Thunder, I get the Paralyze, and that's awesome because it's a 60% chance to hit. And now he's like uber slow, and I go for another Thunder, and um, he goes for a Crunch, and that will be, and that will be enough to take out my uh, Jirachi. Uh, and I do understand because it's Life Orb, as you can see right now, and his um, and um, he has like three dra three Dragon Dances up. So now I was expecting him to switch. So herefore I went in my fossil and went for a track for a sword dance and now his attack is like very amazing and I'm faster than Zapdos due to the rain because his speed is doubled and I have a sword dance up so I'm pretty sure that the stone edge will be able to kill the Zapdos and I get a crit but I don't think that would have mattered at all to be honest so the rain continues to fall and he has four Pokemon left and one is his Flygon. But even a Scarce Flygon won't be able to outspeed um, my uh, Kabutops in the rain. So I just went for a Waterfall and after a Sword Dance that's also enough to finish off this Flygon. And um, Kabutops is doing pretty nice here. He's like uh, sweeping all those overused Pokemon and only being a UU. So hooray! So now I went for an Aqua Jet. I was pretty sure that would be that I would be able to outspeed him with a regular waterfall, but I thought an Aqua Jet would be enough. And now he goes into a Zelf, and a Zelf is going to use Psychic, and uh, Psychic does like a little over half, I think. And uh, no, it doesn't do half at all. So I just go for a waterfall here, and a Zelf holds on to his Focus Sash. So I'm pretty sure that I will be able to take it out the next uh, the next turn with an Aqua Jet. Um, but that's not necessary because the the Sandstorm is up, so I would speed it anyway. Uh, so it will be killed by the Sandstorm anyway, I'm sorry. So now I just went, I knew that he would go for a close combat or even an extreme speed, so I just went for an Aqua Jet to get some damage off on this Lucario. And yeah, Kabutops has done enough in my opinion because it has taken out four Pokemon, I guess, of his team, or three Pokemon at least. So now I go into my Scissor, go for the Bullet Punch, and a Choice Band Bullet Punch is enough to finish him off. So good game here, Big Boss. I really enjoy battling you. It was a great time to test out my team. Hope to battle you again. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time, guys. Bye. So here I'm going to ask about your favorite ice type move and it's nearly Christmas so I think an ice type move is pretty uh, convenient for this time of the year. So uh, I'm going to ask about your favorite ice type move. If you ask me, um, ice shards is like the priority move and it's really great because you can do great predictions with it. It's also great against dragons. If you ask about my second favorite um, ice type move then I'd say uh, Blizzard, due to the accuracy, it's still an awesome move and an awesome chance of, paralyze, um, of freezing the opponent, so that's also very great. Not that I like the freeze hex, but it's just a pretty nice stab move. So what's your favorite ice type move? Leave your answer as reply to this video, and see you next time guys. Thank you for watching.